Happy Independence, Nigeria. <laughs>
it is glaring that the two major political parties we have in this country today has no value. And in the process of doing this, I begin to search which party has value. Because my own core values is important to me. And that's why to today I've delayed coming out to contest. Because I don't want my own value to be messed up. And what are my values? My values are accountability. My values are service. My values are humility, integrity, love, and excellence. That's what I live with. And that's the more reason I have to contest under a party that has similar value. In the process of session, I read the manifesto of African Democratic Congress. And I found out that some of their values align with my own value. And I said, this is the place to go. And I began to make my inquiry. I began to have meetings with the leadership of that party to confirm what I've read on the manifesto. And that put me at rest that I have people of like minds that we can take this country to, to greater heights. And I must say, African Democratic Congress is the only alternative party that can bring change to Nigeria. So does the party have a major role to play in competence? Yes. The party has a major role to play. Because, I mean, let me focus a bit on, 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 on Ogun State, for example. Um, we can see what's happening in Ogun State today, where we have the, the governor that have done eight years trying to impose a candidate on the people of Ogun, Ogun State. The same, the, same, the same governor that's trying to impose a candidate on, on Ogun State cannot even come to my own central district. On record, all the events that have happened within the central district of Ogun State, he has not shown up. Whereas he has chosen to send you know, the deputy to represent him. And the same governor is still having a voice that has to stop. We can't continue that way. Therefore, the only credible alternative party is African Democratic Congress. And that's our slogan is Arise and Shine. Arise and Shine Ogun State. Arise and Shine Nigeria. Arise and Shine Ogun East Central District. All right, now, um, speaking about the rise and shine and the political ambition, we know say from your profile we read, you get a lot of educational qualifications where people, um, they're quite familiar with. But make we look at your, um, um, your political history, really, inside Nigerian politics. Because we know say it's a different ball game if you're there outside than when you're there inside. And if you're there inside, you don't get that experience. Talking about your political history, what you don't do for inside your district or even your local government or even the state? Where people feel related to it, say, oh, okay, I remember now this man I come outside start him. So that now why? And he start him and he finish him and he maintain him. That now why me go like choose to deal with him. So what will be the political history we get? Okay. Um, there are two things here. The politicians of the old. What they've done basically is to do projects based on their political ambition, you know probably do like a bow or something that is not inclusive. But for me, as a person, I may not have been playing a major role in the political scene, but I've played a major role in humanitarian development. I've played a major role in social economy development. Why in the private sector, there are people in Ogun East Central District, from Ijebode, from Shagan, from Remo, that are sponsored, have given scholarship to, send them to school, pay their school fees. Nobody say I did do this thing because I won't contest. I've been doing this thing as back as 2002, paying for people hospital bill, paying for people school fees. People will no get food. Give them money for food. On this basis, I've done things that have impacted people's life. I didn't do it because I have an ambition then to contest. No, 
I did it out of my heart to make people life better. And on this basis, on what I don't do, now make me say, these people will did this thing, now they do this thing. They don't do that well. People don't hear say now plenty of money they collect for selling for Abuja. That plenty of money they collect, we we, we no see them. I no see them for Ijebode. I no see them for Shagan. I no see them for Remo. I no see them for Dogolu. I no see them for Agowoye. I no see them for Jebugo. I no see them for Ogbere. I no see them for Atom. Now because all this place, now in make up my central district. But where me are they grow for Ijebode? The road where they jabo they there, better the one where they jabo they now. Everything don't spoil, parata. And we cannot just continue this way. Now, talking about, um, uh, you say you want better the life of Ogun people. Now, a lot of Nigerians, um, a lot of Nigerians looking at the Senate for 58 years, some of them will come outside and talk, say, there has not been any bill passed where it uh, actually better the lives of Nigerians. Now, if or when you're elected as a senator, which particular bill you go actually put on ground for the house, where go they favorable to the people of Ogun State? Yo, that's a very good, good question. For, you know, say Senate, you do represent your people for Abuja. Mm -hmm. But people where go Abuja, no come back, no come back to their to their streets, mm -hmm. to their town again. And you're supposed to be like that. You're supposed to come back. Now, on this be where you just talk now. If I did Abuja, well, my people, I don't tell them. Because me, I don't go around. In the last two months, I've been moving from one town to another town. I've been on a train, enlightening my people, meeting with the leaders, with the, the world share, with the grassroots, having a meeting with the grassroots to have to feel what they are feeling. My sister, people they suffer, people they suffer plenty, people they hungry for this country. And me, I don't tell them, say me and me, I go there. Any bill where we want to pass there, you know, say for B, they go read down, first reading. Eh? When you do first reading, you are meant to come back to your people. And tell them, say, now nah, this way they won't pass be this show. You agree or you don't agree. Because then send me go Abuja. Then me, I will come back, ask them after the first reading. Then we go discuss. If they say that be, make you support them, I will go back, support them. I will also ask them as well. Say, so what's in way you want me make I go talk for Abuja? <laughs> Anything way they tell me, now nah, I will go talk. Now nah, that be, I go pass. Now, in that bill, I go sponsor. Because what must happen is this people have to, be, have to be connected with their people. If they have sent you to Abuja to represent, you are not supposed to become a master. You are a servant. And that's why one of my values is service, is to serve people not to become their masters. But people that have gone ahead, they become the masters. Now you mm. talk something very important. I say people where they go there, you know, they actually come back um, to the to the district where they're supposed to present first. I feel at this point, Nigerians don't even understand what is the role of their senator any, anymore. So tell us now, what will be the role of a senator in making sure, say, a community is being developed? You also must have here saying. They said they collect plenty of money for Abuja. Which is always attacking that. I mean, when it comes always. to the allowances, it's not, it's not, it's not peanuts. We know yes. it's not peanuts. They call it constituency project allowance. Mm -hmm. That money is meant for the constituency. They are meant to come back and carry out projects with that money. But what they have done is this. They've pocketed that money. Do you know the most annoying thing and the most disappointing thing is this? There is a grant by the World Bank, African Development Bank, by different NGOs across the world. That grant, now free money, that free money, if anyone will go send it, they give them money for, for constituency projects. Mm -hmm. If the person come back and that project, you execute the project, you did very well, 
Document it. Take it to the United Nations and World Bank. They will give you grants to go and do more projects. But they've denied us that opportunity because of greed, what they want to eat. And that's why I've told my people, and my people believe me. They have trust in me. They know that this is the only person that can deliver Ogun East Central District. And they believe me that not one error. Please, make you read my lips, yo. Not one error of that money that is meant for concert projects that will go to my pocket. Okay, now this is not a very good thing where they come and say talk, and it's the same. It can't be like saying that the same, um, the same song where a lot of a lot of people before they read that seat. Now the same kind of song, similar song where they hear them sing, but when they reach there, it's gonna be a different canary that is singing at the end of the day. Now we even look at your empowerment project because I school for Ogun State, I go for Government Girls College Shagamu, and I know say the infrastructure where they are around that side, Odogbolu, Ikenne, Ejebibo, all those areas. When I go there, it's not too long ago. Um, it's 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 a crying shame according to you both with the common side talk. Um, now you for one of the the things where you talk to you go do based on your constituency project. This is not based on the manifesto where you don't come out and give for 2019. You talk about empowerment based on remodeling the primary and secondary school educational system. You say this one are to include equality and then quality education. We go promote lifelong learning opportunity. Now this one just means say you go do certain works based on physical the infrastructure and also the quality of education if, if I'm not getting it wrong. Because if you look at Ogun State, Ogun State has the highest number of tertiary Institutions, in fact, you talk about the educational system. Uh, like I said, now Ogun State, yeah. now Ogun East, Ogun East Central District, now be the hub. Oh, yes. But yet, with that kind, with that kind of investment, we don't put for inside Ogun East Central District. We're not seeing the best results from that, from that particular state. So, we realistically, practically, how you go take move on from the state where they now to the next level? Let us take, let us take just one secondary school as an example, practical example of how you go elevate that secondary school. Okay. Uh, I go start with primary school. But now primary school, now ain't the important first before okay. secondary school. Mm -hmm. But when me I go primary school, when me I go school, now free education. Me, private school, I don't go private school. But today, what you say today is more of a private education than a public education. But those days, the public education Na obolta na na correct, and you see, education is power. I say it again: education is what is power, and that is the more reason you need to start from the grassroots. The people of Ogun East, not Ogun East alone, across our country, have been denied, and that's why. We said we are going to remodel the primary school and remodel the secondary school. I will take on primary school, for example. There is a project that we did in FYF. That project, that school is called Islamiatu Primary School. As you, be, as you see me so also, I'm a pastor. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm a pastor. That was a school in FYF. It's called Islamiatu Primary School. That school. No share for classroom. No water. The student, go, the, people, the student there, they will carry water from house for inside keg. Carry and go school. That water not be for them, oh, not for the teachers, oh, to use for toilet, for latrine, for them to drink. So what we did in Ekwe is, is, is a typical example of what we're going to do across all the primary school in Ogun East Central District. What we did was to remodel the primary school. Even so, I be pastor. That school, now Muslim school, in the column, Islamiatu primary school for Ekwe, maybe go check them out. What we did is to build additional 10 classrooms. That 10 classroom that we build, each class make them very big, that can take about 60 students each. Because before we got there, that school get 1,000 students. Those undergone students, now only five classrooms or six classrooms they get. And they get like maybe like four teachers or five teachers. What we did was to build additional 10 classrooms, remodel the other classrooms that have been dilapidated. We put chairs there, put blackboard there. We no stop there. 
You give them bowl for water. We also empower their teachers for that same school. Then beyond that, what we'll be doing now is to create employment in Ogun East, where we go get more teachers for those schools beyond the infrastructure where we go do. Then we go also do training for those teachers as well. So that we go better the life of the people. And how much you plan to pay the teachers? Please, yeah. You know, say now, they talk of minimum wage. Mm -hmm. eh? That no way they talk. Eh? Now, this way we go start with, with that. How much are you for in terms of the minimum wage? No, minimum wage. I don't think no it should be less than 5,000 euro. Why? Waiting be your reason for, multi, for, for wanting it at 65,000. 5,000 Okay. Let's take a teacher, for example, or average person that has two kids. You know, in Nigeria, <clears throat> to get two children self, now they're too small. People get five, people get six. People will be teacher, will be people where they, they this government, where they work. Some of them get like six children. Eh? If someone gets 65,000 naira every month, how much you think, say, the person go feed it? Let's go down way. To eat a meal, a meal, say for Buka, at least you need 20 naira. That means to eat three a day, three times a day. That's than 600 naira. That's than one person, you know. For 30 days, that's 18,000. If you take home, say you and your two children, to eat alone, that one at 54,000. Now inside down, you go send the, your picking, go school. Now inside down, you go send down, look for money, go private school. For some school, the public school, no good again. When I say 65,000 naira, because if nobody say we want to remove the primary school and school, that's 65,000 naira, nobody know, oh. it would be more than that. Because we go to do other developments. So that that's 65,000 naira will make sense when they spend them. They don't go spend them on, on, on school. They don't go spend them on things when no necessary. All right, if you just join us, we they actually speak with Dr. Adedeji Ashiro, where they go for Senate, Ogun East Senatorial District. It don't tell us plenty of the plans where it gets on ground. Now, what do you think about the money where our senators they collect? And if you are a senator, would you dedicate your salary? We don't see a lot of senators come outside and say, I'm dedicating my salary to the good people of my community or my constituency. So, what would be your take on that? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, I said earlier on, I said there are constituency projects, money, and there's allowances for Senate, for Senator. Um, I make it very clear that every money that is meant for constituency projects will go to the constituency. Now, the allowance that comes to me based on the, 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 the law for Nigeria now, that money is not for me to spend. Because also for my, me, also, I will get office. That will, that will run, that, that will run the, the constituency. Mm -hmm. I will get office that will run constituency for the project. I will pay salary. Okay. The how much where my salary will be, I don't know yet. If now one million no, or now two million no, or now ten million no, what thing will be, I don't know. Therefore, I cannot say here that that money will go to the constituency. But what I can say here, the money that has been allocated to the constituency for constituency projects will definitely go to constituency projects. Right. Nice one. Now, you they actually go for go under the, the, the African Democratic Congress Party. Thank you so much, say you don't come inside still to share your idea, your mandate with us. Now, Nigeria at 58, what will be your message to Nigerians and also the good people of Ogun State? Thank you. My message to people of Nigeria that people should go out and vote in 2019. We need to vote for the people that can deliver the good things for this country. We have been disconnected. There's no good infrastructure. Therefore, it's important for us to go a mass. We should not focus on taking money from politicians. We should not focus on taking money from politicians. Because when you take money from them, they will not come back. Therefore, to cause change, let us go out and vote for people of our choice. 
that we know that can deliver good thing for this country. That is my advice to the people of Nigeria. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much, Engineer. Um, engineer Dr. DJ Ashiro for coming inside the studio this morning. We wish you the very best on top of your politi political ambition come 2019. We shall be looking forward and definitely be following up closely on top of it. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.